This is Akashvani. The news read by Punita Bakshi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said knowledge can play a crucial role in marking India as a developed country by the year 2047. Addressing a gathering of students and faculty members at Sushma Swaraj Auditorium in Nalanda University in Rajgir, Mr. Modi said India can achieve position of superpower by strengthening its education and knowledge system. The Prime Minister inaugurated the newly built campus of Nalanda University in Rajgir in Bihar. He said that Nalanda University was a great example of our identity and traditions to the world. Mr. Modi reiterated that his government is trying to re-establish India as a big knowledge centre by providing it a new identity in the education sector. Speaking on the occasion, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar said they are witnessing the revival of a global bridge of learning that can build relationships even further than in the past. Education, training and capacity building are the most effective ways of promoting international understanding, he said. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar, Bihar Governor Rajendra Arlekar, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, Deputy CMs Samdar Chaudhary and Vijay Sinha and other delegates were present at the new campus of Nalanda University. Ambassadors from 17 countries also attended the event. Ahead of Haryana Assembly polls, former Haryana Congress leader Kiran Chaudhary and her daughter Shruti Chaudhary have joined the BJP. They were inducted into the party in the presence of Haryana Chief Minister Nayab Singh Saini, MP Manohar Lal Khattar and other party leaders in New Delhi today. After joining BJP, Ms. Kiran praised the public welfare initiatives undertaken by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. She expressed her dedication to working for the welfare of Haryana and its people under the BJP banner. Water crisis in Delhi continues with long queues of people at water tanker distribution points across the city. Residents of the national capital are seen gathering around tankers with plastic canisters and buckets to collect water. This situation has triggered widespread protests, vandalism and political confrontations throughout the city. NDMC area is also affected by the water shortage. Speaking to the media, NDMC Vice Chairperson Satish Upadhyay accused the Delhi government of protecting the tanker mafia and tender mafia and engaging in corruption. He also urged people and associations to use water judiciously. The Delhi government has alleged that the BJP government in Haryana is stopping Delhi's water supply as part of a political conspiracy. The Coast Guard is holding a two-day Sagar coverage exercise in Tamil Nadu involving all maritime security agencies from today. Indian Navy, Marine Police, Fisheries Department, Customs and other security agencies will coordinate together and conduct the exercise. Incessant heavy rains continue to lash Arunachal Pradesh for the past few days. IMD has issued red alert in East Kamen, Papumpare and Lower Diban Valley districts. It has also issued orange alert for nine districts and yellow for the rest. A portion of the NH415 has been washed away by flash flood at Karsingya area, thereby completely halting the vehicular movement along Nirjali Bandar Deva stretch of the highway. In view of this, the Itanagar District Administration has ordered closure of the highway from Nirjali to Bandar Deva and diversion of traffic through Gumto Road for the period till restoration of the road. Whereas in Assam, incessant rain has thrown life out of gear in many districts. Over 1.6 lakh people are reeling under the fury of floods in 15 districts. The U.S. delegation, including former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McCall, today met at the residence of Tibetan religious leader Dalai Lama in McLeod Ganj in Himachal Pradesh. After meeting the Dalai Lama, the U.S. delegation participated in a cultural program organized by the Tibetan government in exile at the Dalai Lama Temple. And that is the end of this news bulletin. <laughs> 